8th, 2024 City Council meeting for the City of Summersworth to order. The clerk will call the roll. Councillor Pepin. Here. Vincent. Excused. Gibson. Excused. Catanzaro. Sorry, parody Catanzaro. Here. Justo. Here. Witham. Excused. Cameron. Here. Messier. Here. Goodwin. Here. Councillor Pepin will lead the council in the uh, pledge. All right, next on the agenda is the recognition of our indigenous people, our native ancestral Americans. This meeting takes place on Indikina, which is the unceded traditional ancestral homeland of the Abenaki, Penacook and Wabanaki peoples past and present. We acknowledge and honor with gratitude the land, waters, waterways, living beings, and the Alnabak, the people who have stewarded uh, Indanika, excuse me, Indikina uh, throughout the generations. All right, uh, moving on to agenda item number four, which is uh, any scheduled public hearings. Um, I will open the public hearing on ordinance 7-24, which is to amend chapter 13, uh, police offenses, section three, traffic control. Uh, ordinance 7-24 is regarding the time limited parking on the westerly side of Main Street to Spring Street from two hours to all day parking as well as changing uh, parking on Lord's Court from prohibited to seasonal, which would allow parking during the, winter, uh, the warm seasons and prohibit parking from November 15th to April 15th. Is there anyone here to speak about Ordinance 7-24? Again, anyone here to speak about Ordinance 7-24? Okay. <laughs> yes, welcome, Councilor Gibson. <laughs> All right, seeing as there is no one here to speak about Ordinance 7-24, I will close the public hearing on Ordinance 7-24. Uh, this will bring us to agenda item number five, which is comments by visitors. The Summersworth City Council and Mayor's Office welcome all vis visitors and encourage you to voice your opinions and views at council meetings. In accordance with Council Rule 7-C, a time limit of five minutes per person shall be in effect unless the council wishes to suspend the rules. Uh, the speaker shall not enter into a, a debate with any person, uh, the mayor, city council members, or the city manager or department heads. Is there anyone who would wish to speak tonight? All right. Thank you. If you would state your name and the ward you live in. Uh, check that there's a green button on. There you go. Cool. Thank you. Jack Gage, 4 Royal Drive, Unit 304. Uh, Thomas Apartments by the Market Basket. Um, I'm a renter here in Summersworth. Uh, those of us who are renters, um, I'm sure you probably all know about the situation with housing and how rent is continually increasing. I've spoken to some of you about this issue. Um, and, you know, my interesting situation with me, uh, last year my rent actually went down because there were um, vacancies, but it's about to go up again a pretty good amount this year and just uh housing is an important situation here in summersworth and i'm looking forward to hearing about um the new plans for to tackle the housing crisis here in our city thank you great thank you so much is there anyone else who wishes to speak tonight all right anybody else i hear some shoes in the hallway so i'm gonna wait and just make sure this person doesn't want to speak <laughs> all right anybody else wish to speak tonight all right with that uh, we are going to move on to agenda item number six uh, agenda item number six is the approval of the consent uh, calendar uh, the chair will obtain a motion to approve the consent calendar which includes the minutes of the city council meeting held on december 11th 2023 do i have a motion i see a motion being made by Councillor cameron All right, Councillor Cameron moves uh, that the consent calendar be approved as presented. A second from Councillor Gibson. Uh, question before the council is the adoption of the consent calendar. All those in favor, please state by saying aye. Aye. 
Aye. All right, all those opposed say no. All right, uh, the ayes appear to have it. Uh, the ayes have it. I just wanted to make oh, sure. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm apologize. Because I wanna hear that one, so. Thank you, I appreciate that. An abstention same for me. and another abstention, two abstentions. Um, the ayes appear to have it. Uh, so the consent calendar is adopted with two abstentions. Thank you. All right, uh, that moves us to agenda item seven, which is comments by city councilors. Are there any comments this evening by city, city uh, councilors? All right, I don't see any, so that will move us to agenda item eight, which is communications. Uh, under communications this evening, we have a letter from the mayor uh, to the city council and the school board chair regarding the Ward 5 school board vacancy. So I will read the letter. Uh, so January 5th, 2024, uh, dear councilors and school board chair, during the November 7th, uh, 2023, Summersworth Municipal Election, the school board Ward 5 elected position resulted in a tie within the write-in votes to which Mary Ann Davis's na name was pulled during a lot per New Hampshire RSA 669 uh, colon 36, held uh, by the city clerk on December 7th, 2023. On December 21st, 2023, the Office of the City Clerk received a letter from Mary Ann Davis stating that Miss Davis is unable to fulfill the position of the Ward 5 School Board. A copy of her email is attached to this letter. Uh, for election races determined by write-in votes, if the person who receives the most uh, votes for an office declines to take the oath of office and assumes uh, then uh, said office, a vacancy is created. Again, per RSA 669 12 and RSA uh, 652 12. Per the Summersworth City Council rules and regulations, Section 10A, voting on council or school board vacancies, um, we sh uh, please accept this letter as notice that the school board Ward 5 position is vacant. In accordance with the city charter, the vacancy will be posted within City Hall for 14 days and advertised in the local newspaper three times. Um, regards, uh, Mayor Matt Gurdon. Thank you. All right, uh, seeing as there are no other communications, we'll move on to agenda item nine, which is presentations of petitions and disposal thereof by reference or otherwise. What a mouthful. <laughs> uh, seeing as we have none, that will move us to agenda item number 10, which is uh, the mayor's report. All right, esteemed, co or esteemed colleagues and members of the council, um, I'm so honored to sit with you tonight in this new role as mayor. Uh, thank you again uh, for your support. Uh, thank you to the community for your support and faith in me uh, by electing me. And I promise uh, to make decisions for this community by putting uh, community first. Uh, I aim to be collaborative, positive, uh, solution-oriented, uh, and as kind as possible. Uh, I value transparency, patience, uh, communication, and kindness as well, and hope that the same can be awarded to me and my fellow elected officials who sit with me tonight. Um, congratulations are also in order to all the city councilors here tonight. Congratulations to all of you, um, as well as to the school board members. Uh, again, congrats on all the positions. I wish you all a successful and positive term serving. Um, tonight's mayor's report will include a number of important informational and housekeeping items, so please bear with me through this extensive report. I apologize in advance. Um, first up, I would like to announce that my normal office hours are scheduled here at City Hall for Mondays and Wednesdays from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, I do need to make a slight amendment, which is that for the month of January, I am the chaperone to the Summersworth Middle School and High School Ski Club, and we go skiing on Wednesdays. So I will be uh, moving my normal Wednesday office hours to Thursday from 6 to 4 for just the month of January, uh, just an FYI. Um, this new year also marks the city's annual tradition of declaring January Diversity Month uh, for the city. This is a yearly affirmation by the city that we support diversity, inclusion, and equity within the borders of the city. It reminds us, as we start each new year, the values that we hold dearest are those that promote acceptance, tolerance, and the differences that make us each unique. I'm honored to sit before you, uh, having adopted this previously as a city councilor, and I am now hopeful as your new mayor that you will adopt it once again. Seeing as there's never been problems before, I anticipate that will go through positively, I hope so. 
Um, but this proclamation is before us tonight as resolution 28-24. Uh, uh, and it is my recommendation that council suspend rules in order to have a second reading tonight on resolution 28-24 so that it can go through at the earliest possible time within the month of January. Um, and I believe the city manager will also be speaking to that in his report. Um, I am also excited to announce a new initiative out of the mayor's office called the Mayor's Quarterly Art Show. Four times throughout the year, the mayor's office will display new artwork submitted by residents of Summersworth in order to showcase our uh, culture, the talents, and creativity of our diverse community. Uh, artwork can be any medium, uh, any size, uh, honestly, as long as it fits comfortably within the mayor's office, that would work. Um, so again, statues, paintings, drawings, all are welcome. Uh, please consider submitting your work for consider consideration. Excuse me. Uh, the deadline for submissions for the year of 2024 will be March 1st of this year. So please submit a picture of your artwork to my email address, which is mgerding at summersworthnh.gov. Include uh, the name of the artist, the size of the work, the medium, and a description of the work, please. Uh, submitted artworks will be judged and chosen by the Mayor's Commission for Arts and Culture, and the first round of work will go on display in the office starting April 1st uh, through June 30th. And then the next quarter we'll have a new round, and the quarter after that we'll have a new round. Um, so please submit uh, to that if you're interested. I know we have a ton of artists in this community that would absolutely uh, be worthy of hanging in the mayor's office. I can't wait to see what we get. Uh, tonight, I also have a number of committee appointments to confer. So first up, as you will soon see under uh, agenda item, um, I can't remember the number, but it's nominations, appointments, and elections. I do have two appointments being brought forward this evening and placed in a nomination status, both Matt Kaiser for appointment to Ward 1 select uh, Selectman with a term to expire December 2025, as well as Michael Turgeon for appointment as Ward 2 Supervisor of the checklist for a term to expire January uh, 2029. Also found under nomination appointments and elections, the following will be brought forward this evening before the City Council for a confirmation vote. I'll be looking to confirm uh, David A. Witham for position of Deputy Mayor, Paul Goodwin for City Council Representative to the Historic District Commission, David A. Witham for City Council Representative to the Planning Board, and Kenneth Vincent for City Council Alternate Representative to the Planning Board. I would also like to announce the City Councilor appointments for this Council Standing Committees tonight. So first up, we have the Public Safety Committee. Our chair will be uh, Marty Pepin, uh, vice chair will be Ken Vincent, and then we'll have Dennis Messier and Crystal Parody uh, Catanzaro. I hope I said that right, thank you. Perfect, as another member. That's gonna be in there now. Um, I just had to do it once. <laughs> Next up would be our Recreation Committee. We'll have uh, Chair uh, Nancy Cameron, Vice Chair uh, Richard Mishu, um, members Bob Gibson and Crystal Parody Catanzaro. Next up is Public Works and the Environment Committee, nominated uh, Dave Witham as chair, Ken Vincent as vice chair, and Marty Pepin and Dennis Messier as members. The Finance Committee will have David Witham as chair, Dennis Messier as vice chair, Marty Pepin and Ken Vincent as members. Economic Development Committee will have Paul Goodwin as chair, Rick Mishu as vice chair, uh, Bob Gibson and Crystal Parody Catanzaro as members. And lastly, Government Operations Committee will have Rick Mishu as chair, uh, Bob Gibson as vice chair, and Paul Goodwin and Nancy Cameron as members. I would also like to announce mayoral appointments to already established commissions and committees that do not require a vote of council. Um, the following are submitted for those. Uh, Marty Pepin as council representative to the E911 Street Name and Address Commission. Ken Vincent uh, to the Sewer Appeals Commission, Rick Mishu to the Sewer Appeals Commission, Marty Pepin to the Sewer Appeals Commission, Paul Goodwin as Chair of the Eyes on 30 Commission, Nancy Cameron as Member of Eyes on 30 Commission, Dina Gagnon as Business Owner Representative to the Eyes on 30 Commission, Jenny Holmes as Community Member Representative on the Eyes on 30 Commission, Dennis Messier as Chair of the Joint Commission of City Council and School Board, Crystal Parody Catanzaro as member of the Joint Commission of City Council and School Board, Beth Poulin as chair of the Christmas Parade Committee, Nancy Cameron as council representative of the Christmas Parade Committee, Chris Smith as member of the Christmas Parade Committee, 
Cody Donahue as member of the Christmas Parade Committee, Crystal Parandee Catanzaro as the Council Representative to the Hilltop Mental Health and Wellness Committee, Dennis Messier as the Council Representative to the School Board, Dennis Messier as Council Representative to the Lamprey Regional Board of Directors, Robert Gibson as Council Representative to Coast Bus Coalition, Nancy Cameron as Chair of the Mayor's Commission on Arts and Culture, Crystal Parity Catanzaro as Vice Chair of the Mayor's Commission on Arts and Culture, Paul Goodwin as Member of the Mayor's Commission of Arts and Culture. I would also like to announce the formation of a number of new mayoral commissions and the, port the appointments uh, therefore. First, I would like to announce the formation of the Mayor's Housing Task Force. This mayoral commission will work to examine a variety of ways that Summersworth can change its ordinances and regulations to incentivize smart housing solutions that match the needs of our community. Uh, positively partner uh, the city with developers, bolster economic growth within the city, and work to develop solutions that can lower the cost of living uh, for working families here in Summersworth. It will work to inform the mayor of possible recommendations, uh, coordinate with city staff, uh, county officials, and regional housing experts, and make suggestions to the planning board as they begin developing their new master plan. Um, the task force will include the following members. Uh, the mayor or their designee, Councilor Paul Goodwin, Councilor David Witham, a member of the Summersworth Housing Authority as chosen by their executive director, a member from Seacoast Workforce Housing as chosen by their executive director, a member of the Zoning Boards of Adjustments as appointed by the chair of the Zoning Board of Adjustments, a member of the Planning Board as appointed by the chair of the Planning Board, a member of the Historic District Commission as appointed by the chair of the Historic District Commission, Citizen Representative Elizabeth Nguyen, and Citizen Representative Kenneth Furrer. I would also like to announce the creation of the Community Outreach and Communication Committee. Uh, this committee will work to find new ways to facilitate uh, increasing communication between City Hall and the residents of Summersworth and inform the mayor on these possible solutions. Improved communication between residents, elected officials like ourselves, and city staff can help uh, folks be better informed, uh, more engaged in our community, and then understanding of decisions that are being made within local government. Uh, committee will include the following members. Councilor Crystal Parity Catanzaro as chair, Councillor Paul Goodwin as Vice Chair, and Councillor Bob Gibson as Member. I will also be forming the Youth Advisory Committee. This committee comes uh, about thanks to a uh, tireless efforts and advocacy of a number of students uh, at Summersworth High School who directly contacted me looking to be more involved in our community. Uh, this committee, composed of three uh, student representatives, uh, educators, and representatives from City Hall and School Board, uh, they will work to engage young residents in local government and provide an avenue for direct action on student, youth, and family-related projects. This committee will include the following members. Uh, Councilor Nancy Cameron as chair, a uh, member from the school board as appointed by the chair of the school board, uh, teachers Scott Seeley and M. Louise White, who will serve as teacher advisors, and students Talia Puckerin, Ari Carter, and Chaplain Kasul. Um, and lastly, I have one more, and then I promise you I am done. <laughs> um, I will be forming a uh, Historic District Advisory Committee. The creation of this committee was jointly requested by members of the Summersworth City Council and Historic District Commission in order to address concerns raised during a recent, uh, recently held joint meeting of the HDC and the Economic uh, Development Committee. The Historic District Advisory Committee will work to identify solutions that will allow for the ease of development and growth within our downtown while maintaining Summersworth's historic character and charm, uh, and will advise the mayor on possible solutions such as changes to form-based codes and zoning ordinances, changes to the standards of review for the HCC, and ways to clarify procedures for processing new development and infill within uh, Summersworth's historic district. Um, also, uh, potential needs for new historic surveys on Summersworth properties, uh, et cetera. The committee will include the following members, City Councilor Rick Mishu, City Councilor Robert Gibson, City Councilor Paul Goodwin, um, Chair of the Historic District Commission, uh, Laura Berry, Member of the Historic District Commission, Richard Brooks, and Member of the Historic District Commission, Timothy Beer. Um, and so it is with great excitement that I announce this very extensive <laughs> list of appointments, uh, and I honestly cannot wait to see the great things and all the great work that will come out of these various committees, 
commissions and task force that we formed tonight. Um, so thank you, Summersworth. Uh, with gratitude, I respectfully conclude my first mayor's report uh, of my whole tenure as mayor uh, for January 8th, 2024. Oh, I guess I gotta keep talking now. <laughs> I was like ready to close that. Um, uh, so that will move us to agenda item 11, uh, which is reports of standing committees. I can actually take a break from talking. Uh, Finance Committee is up first. Councilor Witham is not here. Does our former vice chair have a report from finance? Who is our former vice chair? No. I'll take that as no report. I don't believe they've met since anyway. So, um, Next is Government Operations Committee. Councilor Mishu. And the report this evening. Thank you. Uh, next up is Economic Development Committee. Councilor Goodwin. No report. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, next up is Public Safety Committee, Councilor Pepe. I have nothing to report this evening. Thank you. Next up is Public Works and the Environment Committee. Councilor Witham is absent tonight. Is our Vice Chair in attendance? No, there's, there's no Great. Hearing there's no meeting, so no report as well. And last up, Recreation Chair. No report tonight. Thank you very much. All right. That brings us to Agenda Item 12, which is reports of special committees. Uh, are there any reports of special committees this evening? All right, seeing as there are none, I will turn it over to the city manager who will deliver his manager's report. Thank you, Your Honor. I offer the following comments that were included in the meeting packet for this evening. Ordinance 7-24 regarding traffic control. Again, this is recommended by the Traffic and Safety Committee. Uh, this two hour parking was put into place when General Electric was active, therefore the two hour limit doesn't seem to be needed anymore. Uh, the other change was in regards to the Lewis Court, will allow residents along the road to park there during months when snow plowing does, doesn't occur. Presently, there was no parking allowed for the entire 12 months each year on Lloyd's Court. Under Resolution 2824, Diversity Month, uh, again, as the mayor mentioned, council should consider waiving council rules to act on this resolution this evening. And the next resolution, 2924, is in regards to authorizing the city manager to enter into a grant agreement with the New Hampshire State Libi Library and to accept a Moose Plate Grant Award for Vital Record Preservation. I provided you a, a copy of the grant agreement, or at least portions of it, for this vital record project. The, the city will conduct preservation treatment, microfilm, and digitally scan three volumes of marriage, birth, and death records for the years 1938 to 1940. Uh, my appreciation ex extended to the city clerk's office for successfully seeking out this grant fund opportunity. A couple of quick informational items. Uh, Wright Pierce Engineers has informed us that the final bid documents uh, were completed regarding the Constitutional Complete Streets Project. Staff is finalizing a bid release date this week with bids due back in early February. The Sports Hub Dome. Staff completed a pre-construction meeting this past Thursday. As you may have seen, the site prep work has started. The developer's time frame for opening the facility is November 1st of this year. New John Deere loader. I uh, provided you some copies of the loader as well as the uh, equipment operator. The city accepted delivery of the new, new John Deere loader this past week with the plow and wing system that was uh, utilized this pa the, the other day for the storm. That concludes my report, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that will bring us to agenda item number 13, which is nominations, appointments, and elections. Under nominations, appointments, and elections, in accordance with Council Rule 17 appointments, the following are being introduced this evening and placed in nomination. Uh, Matt Kaiser for appointment as Ward 1 Selectman with a term to expire December 2025 as well as Michael Turgeon for appointment as Ward 2 Supervisor of the Checklist with a term to expire January 2029. Uh, in accordance with Council, uh, Excuse me, uh, yeah, no problem. Can sure, up? can do, <coughs> absolutely, yeah. So um, I'll be looking for a motion to waive rules. I think that's a great point. Councilor um, Messier. Count, yep, Councilor Messier makes a motion to waive council rules tonight. Is there a second? Councilor Gibson seconds. 
All right. The motion on the table is to waive council rules for uh, to make a vote on tonight's appointments. Is uh, excuse me. Um, all those in favor will state by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Bear with me. All those opposed will state by saying no. All right. Seeing as uh, there. Are are no no's, the ayes appear to have it, the ayes have it, and the motion is accepted. So these will now go forward for a vote for council tonight. So I'll repeat them. We have Matt Kaiser for appointment as Ward 1 Selectman with a term to expire December 2025, as well as Michael Turgeon for appointment as Ward 2 Supervisor of the Checklist with a term to expire January 2029. What are the wishes of the council? Councilor Metzier. One of Michael Turgeon. All right, motion on the table is from Councilor Messier to accept the nominations, the slate of nominations. Is there a second? Councilor Gibson, thank you. All right, again, motion on the table is to accept the two nominations tonight. All those in favor, you will state by saying aye. 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 Yeah, Ooh, I have a question. question on the vote. I apologize. Go ahead, right, Councilor um, Carity. I have December 2026. Zero. Same. Is that correct, or is it 2025? That is a I just want to clarify. 2026 is in the minutes. That is a typographical error in my notes. I apologize. Oh, okay. Thank Great. you. Great catch. All right. We're going to repeat the vote so that everybody at home can hear it again. Thank you for the question. Again, if you are in favor of the vote, you will state by saying aye. 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 All right. Thank you. Those opposed, state by saying no. All right. Seeing as there are no no's, the ayes appear to have it, the ayes have it, and the uh, nominees are so far appointed. Thank you. Thank you for bearing with me on the curveball. <laughs> um, also under nominations, appointments, and elections, in accordance with Council Rule 17 uh, appointments, the following are being brought forward this evening for a confirmation vote. Uh, first up is David A. Witham for the position of Deputy Mayor. What are the wishes of the Council? Yeah, Councilor Paradis Catanzaro. Uh, I guess I'd like to nominate David Witham for Deputy Acting Mayor. Thank you. Councilor Paradis Catanzaro moves for uh, the nominee to be confirmed. Is there a second? Second by Councilor Cameron. Uh, the question before the Council is on the confirmation of David A. Witham for the position of Deputy Mayor. Um, all those in favor, please state by saying aye. 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 All right. All those opposed, say no. Oh. We have one no. All right. The ayes appear to have it. The ayes have it, and the nominee is so far confirmed. Thank you. All right, next up is Paul Goodwin as the City Council's representative to the Historic District Commission. What are the wishes of the Council? Yes, Councillor Pepin. All right, Councillor Pepin moves that the nominee be confirmed. Is there a second? Seconded by Councillor Mich uh, Michu. Uh, question before the Council is on the confirmation of Paul Goodwin as the City Council's representative to the Historic District Commission. All those in favor, please state by saying aye. 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 All right, all those opposed, say no. Okay, the ayes appear to have it, the ayes have it, and the nominee is so far confirmed. Next up is David A. Witham as the City Council's representative to the Planning Board. What are the wishes of the Council for this? Yes, Councilor Goodwin. I'd like to make a motion to put forward that nomination. Councilor Goodwin moves that the nominee be confirmed. Second, seconded by Councilor Pepin. Question before the Council is on the confirmation of David A. Witham as the City Council's representative to the Planning Board. All those in favor, please state by saying aye. 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 All right, all those opposed, say no. Okay, the ayes appear to have it, the ayes have it. Nominee is confirmed. All right, last up is Kenneth Vincent as the City Council's alternate representative to the Planning Board. What are the wishes of the Council for this? Yes, Councilor Gibson. I move that we accept the n nomination of Kenneth Vincent as alternate representative to the Planning Board. Thank you. Is there a second? Seconded by Councillor Messier. Uh, question before the Council is on the confirmation of Kenneth Vincent as the City Council's alternate representative to the Planning Board. All those in favor, please state by saying aye. 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 All right. All those opposed, say no. All right. Ayes appear to have it. The ayes have it, and the nominee is confirmed. All right. Thank you, everybody. That moves us to agenda item 14, which is items that have been laid upon the table. There are no items there. Uh, that then means we can move to agenda item number 15, which is unfinished business. Uh, we'll start with ordinances. 
The chair will recognize the clerk for a second reading on Ordinance 7-24, which is to amend Chapter 13, Police Offenses, Section 3, Traffic Control, which is regarding time-limited parking on the westerly side of Main Street to Spring Street from two hours to all-day parking, as well as changing parking on Lord's Court from prohibited to seasonal, allowing parking during the warm seasons, and prohibited parking from November 15th to April 15th. Clerk, you are recognized. Ordinance number 724, <coughs> to amend Chapter 13, Police Offenses, Section 3, Traffic Control. All right, Ordinance 7-24, having been read a first and now a second time, is open to further amendment. Are there any amendments tonight? All right, seeing as there are no amendments being offered, the chair will be looking for a motion. Yes, Councillor Messier. I'll make a motion that uh, the council accept for approval Ordinance number 724. Councillor Messier moves for the adoption of Ordinance 7 24, seconded by Councillor Cameron. All right, the motion before the Council is to adopt Ordinance 7 24. Is there, or excuse me, 7 27. Is there any discussion? All right, seeing as there is none, if you are in favor of the adoption of Ordinance 7 20, no, it is 7 24. Sorry again, my numbers. Um, you will state by saying yes. If you are not in favor, you will state by saying no. I will call on the clerk to call the roll. Councillor Pepin. Yes. Gibson. Yes. Parody Catanzaro. Yes. Misho. Yes. Cameron. Yes. Messier. Yes. And Goodwin. Yes. All right. Ordinance 7 27 has been adopted. No, 7 24. <coughs> Sorry, I keep doing that. This is what you get when you copy and paste, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next on the agenda is agenda item 16, which is new business. We will start with our resolutions. Um, tonight, uh, the chair will recognize the clerk for a first reading on resolution 28-24, which is a proclamation declaring January Diversity Month in the city of Summersworth. Clerk. Resolution number 28-24. Proclamation declaring January Diversity Month in the City of Summersworth, January 8, 2024. Whereas January 15, 2024 will mark the 95th birthday of the Rev Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. And whereas the dream of equal treatment is the foundation of human rights and democratic values. And whereas our nation has worked towards the goal of fulfillment of this commitment for over 245 years. And whereas the City of Summersworth has become a model of a community which embraces and promotes its diversity. And whereas the city of Summersworth is committed to the values of equality and liberty stated in the, in the Declaration of Independence, United States Constitution, New Hampshire State Constitution, and City Charter. And whereas the Rev Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. reminded us that freedom, liberty, and equality must be protected for all citizens, and that from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire, let freedom ring. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the city of Summersworth encourages all residents, including community groups, schools, and institutions to continue to work towards fulfilling Dr. King's dream of the elimination of all barriers to the fulfillment of equal opportunities and human rights. And whereas the city of Summersworth calls upon all citizens to reflect during this month on the message of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and commit themselves throughout the year to join the fight for the elimination of all forms of discrimination and, and disadvantage and to ensure that everyone has the right to live in conditions of dignity, respect, and peace. And the Summersworth Mayor and City Council hereby declare that January 20, 2024 be Diversity and Equality Month in the City of Summersworth and that the City of Summersworth along with all its citizens hereby recommits itself to the fulfillment of Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream. Sponsored by Mayor Matt Girding, Councilors David A. Witham, Nancy Cameron, Crystal Parody Catanzaro, Richard Michaud, Paul Goodwin, Dennis Messier, approved city attorney. Thank you. All right. Yes, Councilor Pepin. I'd like to make a motion at second reading. Awesome. 28-24. Thank you. Councilor Pepin makes a motion for a second reading on resolution 28-24 as a second. Councilor Michaud, thank you. Uh, the question before the council is on a second reading of council, uh, excuse me, of resolution 28-24, which is a suspension of council rules. All those in favor, please state by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. 
All right, the ayes appear to have it, the ayes do have it, and the motion passes. Uh, the chair will recognize the clerk for a second reading on resolution 28-24. Resolution number 28-24, proclamation declaring January Diversity Month in the city of Summersworth. Thank you. Resolution 28-24, having been read a first and now a second time, is open to amendments. Are there any amendments? All right, seeing as there are none, um, We'll be looking for a motion on resolution 28-24. Yes, Councillor Parity uh, Um Yes, I would like to move for the adoption of this. Thank you. Councillor Parity Catanzaro moves for the adoption of resolution 28-24, seconded by Councillor Mishu. The motion before the council is to adopt resolution 28-24. Is there a discussion? Councillor Pepin, no? All right, is there discussion from others tonight? If you are in favor of the adoption of Resolution 28-24, you will state by saying yes. If you are not, you will uh, state by saying no. The clerk will call the roll. Councillor Pepin. Yes. Gibson. Yes. Parody Catanzaro. Yes. Misho. Yes. Cameron. Yes. Messier. Yes. Goodwin. Yes. All right, Resolution 28-24 has been adopted. All right, that will move us on to Resolution 29-24, uh, excuse me. Uh, the chair will recognize the clerk for a first reading on Resolution 29-24, which is to authorize the city manager to enter into a grant agreement with the New Hampshire State Library and to accept a Moose Plate Grant Award for Vital Records Preservation. Resolution number 29-24, to authorize the city manager to enter into a grant agreement with the New Hampshire State Library and to accept a Moose Plate Grant Award for Vital Record Preservation, January 8, 2024. Whereas the City of Summersworth values its history and understands the importance of preserving and maintaining the city's records, and whereas the City of Summersworth applied for a Moose Plate Grant through the New Hampshire State Library to preserve and protect the city's historical vital records, and whereas the City of Summersworth has received notification of a Moose Plate Grant Award in the amount of $9,249, to conduct preservation, preservation treatment, microfilm, and digitally scan three volumes of marriage, birth, and death records for the years 1938 through 1940. Now therefore be it resolved by the City Council of the City of Summersworth that the City Manager is authorized to execute any documents and agreements necessary for the grant's acceptance and execution and take any and all other such actions relative to this grant's project's completion determined to be in the best interest of the City. Sponsored by Matt, Mayor Matt Girding, Councilors David A. Witham, Nancy Cameron, Crystal Parody Catanzaro, Richard Michaud, Paul Goodwin, Dennis Messier, approved City Attorney. Great. Resolution 29 24, having been read a first and second time, will remain in first reading until the next regular scheduled meeting. All right. Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Councilor Wasn't Gibson. Read a second time. Uh, this was a first reading, as far as I am aware. It's under new business. Um, oh, ha did I say having been read yeah. first and second? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Got to have a few flubs in the first meeting, right? <laughs> we know what you meant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good catch, though. Thank you. Um, all right, that does move us to agenda item 17, which is comments by visitors. So, again, the Summersworth City Council and Mayor's Office welcome all visitors and encourage you to voice your opinions and views at the City Council meetings. In accordance with Council Rule 7-C, time limit of five minutes per person shall be in effect unless the Council wishes to suspend the rules. Uh, the Speaker shall not enter into debate with any person, the Mayor, City Council members, City Manager, or Department's heads. Is there anyone who would like to speak tonight? Anyone who would like to speak? All right, seeing as there are none, we will move on to Agenda Item 18, which is closing comments by Council members, we're going to start tonight with Councillor Pepin. Go ahead. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, just a couple things. The snowstorm. I'd like to thank the highway department and all the emergency services that traveled in this stuff all week, all weekend. Um, and I'd also like to thank that windstorm that we had and the rainstorm. Um, I was out power for over ten hours. Uh, it took the power lines down off of about four to six poles. Uh, public service was out there in that wind and that pouring rain for over 10 hours putting those poles, putting that back in service. And people that say that then they don't put the bucket trucks up when the wind's blowing, 
let me tell you, the wind was blowing and they were out there and they were pouring rain. So I'd like to give a hat off to that. One thing I would like to comment on though is I know we upgraded the traffic lights. Well, I didn't think I, it was done Saturday. I turned off a wash, uh, black water road onto High Street and I came to complete stop because it was, the traffic was backed up all the way down to that, that, that street. So I don't know what we can do about it. Um, but it, it wasn't no improvement on Saturday afternoon, I could tell you that. So um, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next up is Councillor Gibson. I'd like to reiterate Councillor Pepin's comments. Um, first responders, highway department, they all did an excellent job through the snowstorm. Um, I wasn't aware of public service, but they deserve full credit for being out in that type of situation. I hope everybody's new year is a good one. After last year, I think we need one. Um, the other thing I'd like to say is I hope that going forward that we can continue to find ways to create full cooperation between all the diverse interests in the city to help the city move forward. I know there's been some friction over the last year from different areas, and I'd like to see that not happen again this year. But um, one thing I will guarantee going forward is I will be asking hard questions where they're necessary, and I don't really care if people get upset with me. Thank you. Thank you. Next up is Councillor Perdi Catanzaro. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I wanted to thank you for forming the Community Outreach and Communications Committee, um, and thank you for appointing me as chair. And I wanted to let folks know that I'll be reaching out to the people that you've named on the committee to set up our first meeting. Um, and I do want to let people know um, it's very easy to reach all of us through the website. Uh, my email is just my first name, crystal at summersworthnh.gov. Um, so I very much welcome anyone's ideas um, on how we can improve communication and community outreach to the city to better let folks know what's going on. I know the mayor has some great ideas. Um, I do too, and I welcome everyone's input. Um, I also wanted to uh, celebrate the traffic lights down High Street. Um, I know it was pretty trafficy this weekend, but um, it's been very exciting to hear a few people's experiences of hitting a bunch of green lights in a row. So they're, I know they're not totally tweaked and perfected yet, but hopefully a lot of people out there are noticing that it takes a lot less time to get from uh, exit nine here into the downtown. So that's just very exciting and happy new year, everyone. Thank you. Next up is Councillor Mishu. Yeah, thank you, Your Honor. I just want to thank Public Works and uh, this previous storm that keeping the roads nice and clear. They did a nice job. I'd like to welcome uh, Councillor Crystal back to City Council and welcome Councillor Paul. Looking forward to a great two years. So wish everybody a happy new year. Thank you. All right, thank you. Next up is Councillor Messier. Yeah, I'll just say one comment about the lights on High Street. During 6.30, 6.20 in the morning, they seem better that I don't have to stop. So um, the weekend, it can get backed up for traffic going to the store. So it may have been that. A um, couple of things with the snowstorm that happened. If we can, shovel a hydrant in front of your house would be helpful. I don't need to be a weatherman, but they say there's some rain coming with the snow. If you got a culvert drain in front of your house, I'll be checking mine tomorrow, making sure, because we don't need flooding. So um, I'd like to thank all the councilors that won for another two-year two term, and the two newest members, welcome. So that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Councilor Cameron. Thank you, Anna. I too would like to echo the former councilors on Public Works and all their hard work this weekend, keeping those roads clear. I was reading some derogatory comments about how they went this or that compared to other cities, but we do a great job, so I want to shout out for that. 
Um, the dog park is now closed, if anybody did not know that. So be careful if you're out there walking your dogs. It is slippery. Um, I know Fenway almost pulled me down, so <laughs> please be careful. Um, thank you for the Youth Advisory Committee. Um, having been a former class advisor, I know that's where that came from, so I'll be looking to get back into working with students again. I love that. And welcome, Paul and Crystal, to the council. Looking forward to working with both of you. As Paul, you're on quite a few committees with me, so we'll have fun. And Crystal, we're back on recreation together. And if you haven't got your Ellie the dog patch, if you collect the patches, that one goes to the shelter where the dog came from, if I'm not mistaken, Chief. And um, it's a really cute patch. It's the dog in the red Volkswagen that the gentleman is a dispatcher. Is that what he is? With the okay. And you can hear the dog barking. So when I went to pick up my patch and they said it was a red vehicle, I said, wait a minute, red or maroon? Because Fenway does the same thing. So I had to joke with them about that. So thank you. Thank you. All right, next up is Councillor Goodwin. Thank you. Uh, interesting to hear that the traffic lights were turned on because I was coming home late one evening this weekend and hit all green and nearly texted all of my friends because it's such a rare occurrence. So um, it does appear to be working. <clears throat> um, but uh, I also sat in traffic on Saturday. So uh, we're obviously tweaking, so bear with us. Um, I wanted to thank the mayor for creating that, the housing task force and for my nomination to that committee. Um, I, th I think everyone knows I'm, I'm passionate around the housing issue here in town as well as economic development things and the, the two cannot be um, sort of separated I think in, in, in practice so uh, looking forward to digging in on that. I uh, also wanted to thank our public uh, comment earlier this evening, I think your name was Jake, really appreciate having them, Jack, sorry Jack, um, thank you for coming out, we really appreciate um, members of the community uh, being engaged and giving feedback um, on that um, and I'd encourage you to keep an ear open because I'm sure there will be opportunities for engagement relating to housing and economic development that will also impact housing in the future so thank you all right thank you to all the counselors uh, that brings us to agenda item 19 which is future agenda items are there any agenda items requested for future meetings Seeing as there are none, we will move to agenda item number 20, which is non-public sessions. We have no non-public sessions scheduled for tonight. That means last on the agenda is item 21, adjournment. Councilor Messier moves that the City Council stand in adjournment until the next regular scheduled meeting, seconded by Councilor Gibson. Question before the Council is adjournment. If you are in favor, you will stay by saying aye. aye. If you are opposed, you will stay by saying nay. Nay. <laughs> With one nay, the eyes have it all. Um, council will stand in adjournment.